Hi, my name is Medha Gupta and I was a 2017 Congressional App Challenge winner. I'm also currently a member of the Congressional App Challenge Alumni Advisory Board and I study computer science as a sophomore at New York University. So my name is Joshua Trong um, and we are all from Cyprus um, and our member of Congress's name is Congress Alan Lowenthal. We're from District 47 and our app's name is MetaRemind. Hi, I'm Jonathan. <laughs> that's all. Hi, I'm Rhea. And I'm Hannah. All right, that's great. Nice to meet all of you. Um, so I'd love it if you could quickly describe what your app does in like 30 seconds-ish. Okay. Um, so our app, MetaRemind, is a medical assistant app that it's dedicated to helping the elderly and those struggled with memory impairment illnesses like Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, its primary function is a reminder feature where users can input their specific medication and when they need to take them, intervals such as how many days per week. And for all the different reminders, the users will receive a notification reminding them to take their medication. And we've also included popular senior games like Solitaire and Wordcross to help train their memory, attention, reasoning, and visuospatial abilities. That sounds amazing. And so uh, why was building this application important to both all of you and the people that you made it for? Um, I have a grandma with Alzheimer's. And so um, I saw her struggle and basically like to like lessen like the her worsening condition, she's supposed to take pills, but she lives alone. And so oftentimes she actually forgets to take her medication. And so that makes her memory even worse and forgetful. And so to prevent that like kind of like snowball effect, I wanted something to help remind her to take it. And so we came upon the idea to build an app that reminds her to take those pills before or after meal times, depending on what the pill might be like. And so I guess it was kind of like a personal experience. And then we also know that with the COVID experience, um, a lot of seniors have been like left alone or forced to like kind of isolate themselves in senior homes or their own households because of the risks. And so we wanted to make sure that um, without a caretaker or someone else to do that for them, they're still able to manage all that on their own. Uh, why did you end up applying to the Congressional App Challenge and how do you think that has inspired you and encouraged you or changed your outlook or any way? Feel free to take this question in any direction. Um, so all of us did have some programming experience before this, um, whether it be through like AP classes or um, I know two of us are involved in the computer science club at our school. And so um, while we did have a lot of program experience, um, we didn't have so much with app building, but I think it was like a fun area that all of us did want to reach out into. And then with like quarantine and social distancing, um, we had a lot of free time on our hands over the summer, even if we were turning juniors. And so we thought it would be a great opportunity to actually try something new and learn something new, build something. And so um, over the summer, we kind of experimented with a couple of different platforms to learn app building. And then we settled upon Android Studio to actually build our app. And so, yeah. And multiple people can take this question, but on that note, what's been your journey like through computer science and learning technology? Yeah, so all four of us, like Hannah said, we've had an interest in computer science, um, but I think the Congressional App Challenge really pushed us to use our skills towards something with that social good component. And I know personally, my mindset towards technology through this challenge really shifted from like, hey, let's innovate something or let's be futuristic to, you know what, how can we use our skills to create positive change in our community? And I think our app in this day and age, we took the most prominent issue we saw with the coronavirus and we found a real niche that if you weren't particularly impacted by it, you would tend to overlook it. And I feel like our elders are often that, that overlooked piece of society that we don't consider when we're talking about the future and we're talking about innovative technology and if our tech can't serve all demographics of people then is it even that useful or that amazing and innovative so in order to ensure that our technology has social good we wanted to create something that can be used by seniors who aren't that familiar with the tech that's why our app has large icons easy interfaces just things that 
the current market doesn't really cater towards for our elders. And yeah, I really think like the Congressional Act Challenge changed our mindset towards what needs fixing and how can we use technology to fix it. Yeah, and on that exact same line, what kind of impact do you guys hope to make through technology, whether it's through this app or through future apps or future technological investments that you have? Um, there's, well, there's many types of impacts that you can go through technology and all four of us would want to take this anywhere through social, political, or just global issues, right? But something plausible to us, I feel like like what uh, Ria said, the overlooked age group of elderly. I think we can, um, because of that, for that reason, I think we can strive to make easier user interfaces, um, easy to read, easy to use um, through web development, through just um, an efficient UI, right? Um, especially during this time of COVID, I think the impact since or during the time of COVID, everyone is highly dependent on what type of Everyone is highly dependent on the technology, right, that they want to use. So all age groups are involved. So thus, since all age groups are involved, everyone should um, know how to use the platform of technology and etc. Yeah, that makes complete sense. And so lastly, from my end is, uh, do you have any future plans for the application? Anything that you think you're going to upgrade in the future? Or what are your future plans individually, if not? Um, so for the application in general, um, we definitely want to make Mighty Remind a hub for seniors, maybe add in an inbuilt messaging system or a way to plan social events at senior centers, or just add more resources that are able to help our elders. Um, but we also want to expand and be able to target more demographics and enlarge the scope of people that are impacted by our technology and pivot our app as necessary based on the current societal problems we see. Yeah, and to add on to Ria, um, for our personal growth and how we want to grow through this, uh, I think everyone on the team was, we were here because not only were we like interested, excited, and like just wanted to have fun in coding, like for example, like one of the first apps we made prior to the congressional app was literally called a cool guy picker where we entered someone's name and it would say oh you're a cool guy or whatever or like a calculator that was like calculated like a little bit off um we wanted to just do something that was fun and that we were interested in but then we ended up going into a more holistic and kind of like reset a social good type of app because um when even rushing up like it was surreal but it opened doors to like new and exciting possibilities and it gave us a tangible type of recognition that we have the ability to create something that helps others. And we're probably not gonna stop just here at the Congressional App Challenge. I think it inspired us to like move forward with our different specific skill sets into different competitions and fields that we not only enjoy, but we feel can help others because we wanna grow in our knowledge uh, through college and career. And we wanna make an impact on society, something that we can be proud of um, that is able to better people's lives. Yeah, and I love that you guys have come together that way. And I was joking, that was my penultimate question. How did you guys come together uh, as a group and pursue technology? Love to hear about that. Sure, I can take this one. Um, so all four of us, we all go to the same school, we're in the same grade. Um, but for example, Hannah and I, we took dual enrollment classes at our local community college for computer science related things. John and I are on the board of the Computer Science Club and Honor Society at our school. And then Josh and I take the same computer science courses. So we've all had like pairs of interaction with each other as like in relation to computer science, but coming together as a team was more of just Hannah reaching out to us individually and saying, hey, I think this is super cool. Let's do this. Let's, let's all hop on a call and figure this out. And we really had a lot of fun together. We're all really great friends and I'm very, very excited that I was able to be part of such a wonderful team that was so supportive and encouraging and really just taught me a lot about myself and just coding in general. Yeah, basically we're all nerds. So we punted over that. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, I love that as a nerd myself. Um, and so those are all the questions for me. So I'll let you have a couple of seconds uh, to give any last words or say anything else that you wanted to say um, before we wrap up the interview. Um, I personally just want to thank the Congressional App Challenge um, for giving us this kind of platform to and that motivation to work on something with a social good component. All four of us are really, really busy people, but the Congressional App Challenge really like put us all in the same room and not forced us, but really pushed us to work together on something that could benefit our community and our society. And I'm really appreciative that we had this opportunity and I want to thank our Congressman Alan Lowenthal for selecting us. Um, it, like Josh said, it felt surreal to get that email that we won and I'm just so excited about it.